Now that you've created your Parsub account and we've completed our first project, let's repeat the process for a website with a bit of a different structure. So let's create a new project. And this time we're going to be using the Boxer Rescue URL. So we can grab that from over here and copy and paste it in and click Start Project on this URL. So we have our page here and we can see that each listing actually opens up to a page about the dog or or dogs in this case, Lucky and Diesel, and gives details on a new page. So if we go into browse here, we can see what happens. As we click on each of these titles, we're given more details about uh, the animals on their own individual pages. Okay, so we can just click the back button here, head back to our main adoption page, and exit out of browse mode. We can create our first selection and we can again just name it name and we can select the title of the individual listing. So under name in this scenario we're going to get the whole title and that's that's fine. It does have uh, the animal's name in there so we'll be able to identify the animal by name still and we'll just click both uh, to get that second data point so that parse hub can better understand the layout. And in clicking this, we've actually extracted the name and the URL. And you can see that down here in the preview. We can delete the URL. We don't need the URL there. So we can just keep uh, the name. And now we can see it in our preview that we have uh, the name only. So let's click the plus sign here. And we're going to add a click action. And so when the name is clicked, is it a next page button? The answer here is actually still no, similar to with our first project. So we are opening up a new page, but it's not a, a paginated page. So we're still gonna click no here. And it is gonna create a new template though for that next page. So we'll call this animal details. And as you can see, we have now a new template here on the left-hand side, our animal details, and then our main template is above it. And in our window here, now we're on that details page. So one of the keys here is that you always wanna make sure your tabs are in sync so that you're selecting and editing the right page. So we're on the details, page here that we can see and we're in the details tab. If we want to be working in the main template page, then we'd click this tab and then also click this tab. So we also want to make sure both of those are in sync and lined up. And so now we can add a detail here. So we can add our first selection. And this time we don't need to do a relative select because all of the details on this page are already associated with that first click, with that first name from the main page. So we can just now create our detail fields. So we have gender, and we'll do another select for age. That's actually it for this page. We don't have another photo here and the breed is already specific to boxers because this is the Boxer Rescue Ontario site. So we're only extracting actually gender and age from the details here. And we can add in default values into our database for the breed, as well as a note that photos are available on the website uh, on the main page. So this is already helping to show why transforming and standardizing the data becomes so important because of the variety that's possible across the web. So now that we have our gender and age here, let's test getting our data. So we'll click test run. And this is gonna start us off on the main page. And let's make sure that it goes to 
our secondary page once we step through. So we're going to click. We have the click action on the name. And perfect. Now it's taken us to the details page and we'll get the gender and the age. And as you can see in our preview, it's working out great. So we have the name, the gender, and the age there listed. And that will happen for any listings on this page. So we'll click stop. And we're going to change the name of our project to Boxer Rescue. And we'll click save and we'll head back into our home screen. And now we have both of our projects there. We have our first one, the Toronto Humane Society and our Boxer Rescue project. And that's great. Now that we have everything set up in Parsub, let's head over to Parabola to pull in our data and transform it. Mm -hmm.